Hey now, and hello to you, you traders. Today, January 13th of January 2022, I'm going now to make a special video how to take advantage of daily trends and daily price movements in different markets. In this case, um, we are using the chart of uh, Euro versus the US dollar and I will show you how you can take advantage of the Renko charts to optimize your tradings also especially uh, for those who are making day trading or scalping. I am a um, full trend trader and I am my favorites are the bigger chart frames. Um, in the future videos I'm going to make also many many videos how to position size um, how we can find uh, different uh, optimized entry points uh, for buying and uh, selling for example when um, we have a strong sell signal when we have a, a typical normal uh, buy signal or strong buy signal where we have to stay out of the market where we should take profit and where we need to take to uh, offset or take profit and let the profits run and i hope these videos will help you also to optimize your trading methods like they have optimized my trading records and my trading results in this case we have the us dollar versus the uh, uh, euro versus the uh, us dollar as I have predicted uh, two days ago in my previous videos here if you like you can go to my main page then click on video and then these are the last special four videos about Renko and I have shown you many live trades there and in one of these parts um, I told you two days ago that the, U, the euro will rise again as, as we can see the price moved from 113 again we are now um, currently at 114 uh 57 this is their current price as you can see and how um, the market itself predicts us where it's going next right so and to do this i have different tools and i'm going to introduce you um, a long video maybe will be uh, much too much but i am doing sh many short videos because to me is important that you understand every step one after each other and understand them first of all understand them then you need to back test it by yourself and once you rule this system you can optimize it make it better and improve it and i hope you can tell me dear dave here is your system i have improved it now you can learn of me and i am a good pupil the master is always a good pupil because his mind is open to learn from others and also share his own wisdom with the others so life uh, like the nature of life is giving and taking and this is a community where we can share our wisdom with each other and improve all of us together so again if you are not familiar then go also to this channels traders landing so this is the good man traders landing then click here and you come to one of the best if not currently the best channel 
of traders community and traders. Hey now, in the next 12 minutes, I am going to show you 12 complete trading systems that have been proven profitable over a series of at least 100 consecutive trades. And if you want to see more content like that, you've got to see here so many, many tones of fantastic trading videos here explaining his system to him is very important the content that people learn his wisdoms of of trading to improve themselves and this channel is one of my favorite most favorite and currently top three channels uh, and I have learned also during the last time many, many things of him again, also after so many years of trading. So go to his channel. Now back, for day traders is important. If I would do day trading, then I will first of all look on a bigger chart frame. First of all, in this case, we have euro versus the dollar daily chart then we see here that the major trend the long-term trend is down we are below the um, this line this is nine days 200 moving average yeah moving 200 moving average of the last nine days a uh, nine days chart frame it means each bar is nine day right this is nine days nine days nine days nine days nine days so and if we count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so that means this period is the last 90 days guys 90 days yes that means that the euro price is jumping now has made a new highest high of the last 90 days right okay if we go back further we see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten then it is 180 days that means the euro price is coming up again over the last highest high of the last 180 days right and if we go back again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and here we have a period of the last year so this period is the whole movement of the US dollar during the last 365 years, 360 days. Because each bar is nine days here. Okay? So that means the euro, pri uh, the euro fell during the last weeks, months, years. Then somewhere here, it tried, came down, Try to this level, came down, got new power, but so and now is trading up again. So, where's the euro? Maybe possibly trading too. Well, maybe at this level, 115 coming back again to 114.50 gaining new power going to 115.50 coming down again to 114.70 going up again to 115.50 then we will have here a consolidation and then goes up to 160 and this is exactly where we have a strong resistance here this line is telling us and this line is the EMA 200 moving average of the last 
but one week. What does it mean? I have here on the same time, I have here on the same time, uh, the movement on weekly basis, on daily basis, and on the basis of, for example, nine days. Why nine days? Because to my own back test results, the nine days has given me the best results. But you can make also your own back tests, what I can recommend. All right, then what do we have else? I have here another indicator. This indicator is a Forex JF indicator showing you the moving average area. And this moving average area is a cloud of support resistances because we have seen in the past the price may move up over or break up a moving average, a long-term moving average, in this case 200. And of course, the moving average traders see that signal as a long signal. Others wait for a pullback and others instantly take the signals. The possibilities are 50-50 because it can happen that the market goes down again or the market jumps up and continues this trend, right? 50-50 chance. And well, I say 50-50 because I don't count the consolidation, the sidewards, because at the end we will have only two directions. We want to see the market rising up or we want to see market falling down. Now these clouds help me to identify and to adjust my entry points. As we can see, it can happen that the market breaks the moving average and here loses power and then comes back to the former previous direction. And in this case, we are talking about the trap. So this one is a very good tool I have used to identify the bull and bear traps. And if you look, for example, on the charts of indices like S&P 500, like Nasdaq or USD 100 like Dow Jones, we have typical two or three situations where we had also big traps, also in the oil market, for example. Then the next indicator I'm using is the DSI. Where did I found this DSI indicator? Well, I have found this DSI indicator in one of the videos of Traders Landing was talking about. So we go here, DSI. I'm sorry. So And we go here, uh, dynamic structure indicator, DSI, by Zen and the art. So I have, I have it now two times, twice. So we want to see what this indicator is working like. And we see here, this indicator clearly shows us the very robust and calculated supports and resistances where the market comes to this level, bounces, tries to break 
then we have here a big power and this is a good indicator where you can in daily trading take advantage of if you are for example range traders right so we go back now in today's video I have a second helper and my second helper is or are my Renko charts so the first step is to identify where the move on the daily chart is here yeah, this one this one okay and now if I click on that here I am on a daily chart frame of five minutes on the same day and you see two days ago I have taken this is my buy position here we have the breakout finder you can find the video also on traders landing page and the market tries all the time is staying up and then finally breaks this level and then goes through and this is especially at this point where I have here also my strong buy signal in this five minutes Renko chart bar and I have put a long term a mid term profit target here at this level in my daily chart you can see here now daily chart here daily chart at 117 it's something about this area where I expect the market will come but at first if we break 116 if I see the market is coming down again of course I take profit and I go short but I wait first for my signals and now we go for the day traders into our five minute chart frame I want to show you now the difference and we see we have here the same indicators I have here my MA cloud of 200 I have here my 200 moving average and all the same and I have here my DSI indicator but on Renki chart and you see clearly my DSI indicator has broken the market is moving up and up 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 where do I see this well the market has made a new high pull back 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 another new high pull back night cannot jump higher is coming back don't make the mistake to go short we wait until we clearly have a break below this and get a signal here yeah, by this the market will signalize right as we are coming down first so if I would trade on my uh, five minute chart then my stop will be now here or possibly here at 114 so can see it's calculating now a little bit if I put my stop here as a day trader of course long term I have my profit target so in this case the market now will show me how much I am in profit and we see here my stop loss has been now to a take profit that means if I come out of the market I am coming with 1200 
dollars profit out of the market. And I, if I wait until my profit target hits, I'm getting 4,500. So in, in any case, this is a winning game for me, in any case. Because in both cases, I am the winner. I have won this match and I'm getting with a good, acceptable profit out of the market. If I'm putting down my stop loss a little lower, the same, I get a little bit less profit, but I give the market and they move more opportunity to run towards my profit target, right? The best thing about the Renko charts are they show you how you can well turn off the noise out of the market and you just focus on the mean movement of the market, right? Where the market is going to. And the other possibility is if you are a percentage well profit taker, we have here for example our uh, entry, then here would be my stop loss order. So at the beginning, somewhere here, the last swing loss, and then we go for example three percent. So something here. We are three percent. That means from the beginning. You see here, I have already 3% or uh, 1 to 3, uh, um, 1 to 3 risk reward ratio. I have reached this level, right? And I can now go, for example, waiting for the next level, waiting here for the fourth. And if you see the price is reaching that, I have also the possibility now to adjust my stop loss to this level right if the market is going up then my next level will be somewhere somewhere around here <coughs> because the market possibly makes a turn down and is going this direction right then my stop would be here all right so and if I see I can take the maximum out of the market, why do you take the profits out? This is the my logic, right? So, and then I put it again to another one. The next one will be five. Got it? So, then the market will move that way, come down that way coming down and if we see we get our profit we have two possibilities to take the profit or somewhere here manually close the profit or the position or we can adjust our next stop to here or here I wait Always, if the market breaks up here, then this swing point is valid to me. And then I will put my next stop loss somewhere between 115.20 and 115.40. And if the market comes back, well, everything in my calculation has been right. First of all, my stop has been right because from the beginning, I have calculated with this strategy, it is a probability that the market runs against me. So I'm never sad if I have stop losses. Why? Because I tell myself, good job, you did it good, because you knew the market can run against you and you have protected your capital. And once the market is running for you, you move your stop loss ahead in your favorite direction and in this case the next point is we have 
developed or stop loss to a stop distance profit taking so this stop loss is not any more stop loss is stop taking profit in case the market turns back behind this point third we have seen that we have reached many uh, steps of the market right that the market has given us already the first profit target with success and is going again in our position as you have seen here for example we had a reflection bar the market came down but is firm again because we have the green candle so the market is you see like here it's predicted already like here that means the market will come back here or somewhere here and then the market will go up so using this strategy the swing highs and lows strategy is valid and have a bigger success potential if you are really going for the full trend full maximum or capacity of the trend the potential you want to take the full potential of the market so the next step or the next exceed would be here right or would be here it depends on the capital and your risk tolerance my risk tolerance is somewhere between 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 percent of my account not two person not one person or i am more conservative better i'm losing 10 trades in low in row and i use at all only one person then i am losing 10 pre, uh, 10 trades in low in row and i am using 10 percent right therefore my risk tolerance is somewhere between 0 0.1 to maximum one uh, 0 0.5 half a percent not more the next strategy is that you move your stop losses around this line so somewhere then the market will be here and then maybe then your stop will be here if the market goes up this way then your stop will be here but the market will be much more higher right but that way you are taking the full potential of the trend or you can put your next stop here around this line this one right so the next stop or stop point exits are here 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 as you can see right the next one is you can avoid all of this and you can just take the move the market goes and the bar opposite coming down what will you do you exit that's all you wait you have a new signal you go long the market red you come out you go long here you come out you go long here you come out what will happen next now you go long your stop is here right it depends on your own mentality on your risk tolerance and on the strength of your own psychology my psychology is very very strong therefore i'm going for always longer longer movements so we see here if you are now on an hourly chart so you see here we are now on daily chart i put back again my stop on daily chart basis my recommendation is if you are trading one chart for example you are taking the entry on daily chart frame put your stop also on the same one do not make the mistake put your stop loss for example in another market uh, <coughs> another chart frame sorry right if you go for example trading for hours like we can see here and it is increasing again then 
put your stop loss on four hours chart frame and not on other one, right? That's the secret. If you use daily or higher chart frames only to identify the major trend and pivots and supports and resistance levels, but trading lower chart frames to enter, then use the lower chart frames also to put your profit target and your enter um, exceed marks or uh, trade uh, stop losses and take profits orders also on the same lower chart frame. I will show you now some examples of the other trades I have taken already. Uh, we begin now. In Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar, we are on the daily chart frame. You see, I am a good profit. I have taken the, pre um, the trend long. I got a signal. Then euro against dollar. You see, we have now a new sell uh, buy signal. Then Australian dollar the same. We are relatively good in the market, right? So I change now to a lower chart frame to make that difference better. And we are on daily. You see here, this is the four hours. This is the two hours. This is the one hours. You can see. So go lower forty five minutes. Right? So the market is long. Then British pound sterling also long. Now we are with three thousand dollars in profit. New Zealand dollars, the same. So this is a market which are correlating positively with that each other. So you can use this chart on the same time to trade many markets on the same time. While they are correlating positively or negatively, and also find out which markets do correlate with each other, right? So we see here the sell position, dollar versus Japanese yen is, you see here the market shows you I'm falling, go short here. So this bar, you see here, go short, go short, not long, go short. If you make go long, then you make losses. If you go short, you make profits at this moment. And you see my $249, the market is always right, right? Then dollar against Canadian dollar is also short, a new signal. Now we are here with $11,000 in profit. The next one, and I'm working without, uh, with um, profit taking, right? So now I can adjust it here. Okay, this trade, and we see here if my uh, profit target hits, then I am out of this trade with five thousand dollars, right? With just one contract, so then U.S. dollar versus the Chinese yuan. And now here I have taken a new trade, Ch uh, Swiss franc against the. Uh, Japanese yen long. I switch off to the Heike Nashi chart, and you see here yourself the difference. So you see here the market is clearly. So this is my DSI, this is my cloud 200 moving average cloud, this is my monthly 200 moving average this is my 200 whole moving average and this is my daily and so the conditions are fulfilled while the market fell for short term 
below 200 moving average daily it is on the same time over DSI over cloud over weekly and we have here a new support line you see here this is this one the new DSI right and we have broken here the, uh, the uh, resistance DSI the market came up now pull back and now running again in our favorite direction right so we see here for example Canadian dollar against the uh, Swiss franc Heike Nashi chart we have a sell signal the DSI right the market reached DSI closed here but not outside then this bar moved over DSI but could not close and then and the next day today the market opens below DSI and now falling back you see and now in this area and once again if you wait you can make for a pullback possibly that way you can go long or if the market is coming down if we use Heike Nashi chart and what do I do instead I do the same calculation like you now but I go also to my Renko charts and my Renko charts tell me go also short why because we see here the market came up we did a low high could not break came down make another high but the new high is below the last high or double highs came down makes a high so my stop is exactly here at this level and we have here a double top a short term period double top where the market comes down but is this really a short term if I see on this 45 minutes I see the following picture this is of 2021 so April of last year and this is now here so I can say we have come to the roof of the market and if the market is going up that way so then from here to here we have a good potential profit so the Renko chart are showing me only the sensitive prices it is 45 minute chart but shows me at the same time the movement the long-term movement of the market so to me it's a really good solution to have many charts on one it saves your time and on the same time you have better conditions to take your advantages and also improve your trends possibly so thank you for this video and thank you for watching this video and i wish you having a nice good successful trading day